It's that time. Time for a how-to video from the Mill Run in Western Maryland. And today we're gonna ballast some Bachman Easy Track. So hop on. My track of choice is Bachman Easy Mate Track. Its sturdiness and quick setup really helped me figure out exactly the way I wanted my layout. My layout took on about four different shapes before I finally got it the way I wanted. Using the Easy Track made this a lot easier. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with Atlas Snap Track or Peco Track. I use them in my yard and in my mind layout. But I'm getting sidetracked. Let's get started. So ballasting is a little bit of an art in itself, but you can do it, and it's not that bad. I use Woodland Scenic Medium Blend Ballast. I'll put the item number down in the description below. I chose brown for my layout, but there's a lot of other shades. I originally started with gray coarse ballast, but it was a little too large for HO scale operations in my opinion, and it was a lot harder to work with. I highly recommend the medium blend ballast if you have an HO scale layout. The things you'll need for this job is some white glue, an assortment of artist paint brushes, a small spoon, isopropyl alcohol, and an eyedropper. Start by taking your white glue and spread a bead of glue across the top of the road bed next to the ties. Try your best not to get any glue on the rails. But don't worry, once it's dry, it literally scrapes off with your fingernail. Next, take a brush and start spreading out the glue down the road bed until you get a nice, thin, even layer. You're going to want to get some on the ground portion as well. As your ballast rolls down the road bed, this will let it fan out a little and make a nice, even mating surface between your track and your layout. Next, you spread the ballast. Take your spoon and start at the top and gently work it side to side to spread the ballast out. Do a little at a time and don't get in a hurry. Once the entire area is covered, you can touch up the thin spots. And then repeat the process on the other side of the roadbed. In between the rails, we're not going to put any glue, just ballast. The reason for this is that we're going to be spreading the ballast out with a brush to get it worked in between the ties. If we used glue, it would just stick to the brush and make a mess. Once the glue is dried, it's time for the eyedropper and the isopropyl alcohol. Spread a thin layer of isopropyl alcohol over the ballast. This will allow your 50-50 glue to soak into the ballast, thus creating a solid surface. Next, take some water and your white glue and mix it together, making about a 50-50 mixture. Using the eyedropper, lightly apply it across the ballast. You can watch it flow down through the ballast as you apply it. 
As you can see here, I've got my glue a little too thick, but it'll still work. I just have to put more on it. Once dry, it'll all be one solid chunk and it won't break loose. Now is the hardest part. Let it dry. So there it is. After continuing the process off camera, this is the finished product. I'm very pleased with how this turned out and can't wait to see the rest of my layout done up in this ballast. Ballasting your track adds a lot of realistic feel to your model railroad and is well worth the time and effort. And again, you can do it. Hopefully you enjoyed this how-to video and that the information will help you as you ballast your own Bachman Easy Track. So until next time, I'm Chris with the Mill Run in Western Maryland. Thank you for watching.